Hi everyone, it's Eddie Zarazzi and I'm doing another YouTube episode. I'm super excited about this one. As usually, I'm super excited to do all episodes. Uh, if it's the first time you're watching, thank you for tuning in. And my past subscribers and, uh, and uh, viewers, thank you so much for always your constant support. All those comments, those likes, uh, and everything else that you guys do. I'm always inspired to do new episodes. And this episode, it's, it's, a, it's called The Day of the Dead. It's a Mexican tradition that celebrates the lives of past ones. Um, this happens November 1st and the 2nd. And what it is, it's really about bringing treats of their old ones um, on the table to celebrate their lives and to, to remember them. So in this episode, I found some really cool knickknacks that have um, that feel. Uh, obviously that theme uh, from votive candles to votive containers to candles that are uh, you know the skulls all painted and then I've got these um, beautiful resin I've got these beautiful napkins I've got um, beautiful roses and I've got this beautiful tray which is gorgeous and what I'm gonna do is basically do kind of a, a grouping um, of things and nothing really crazy, but look at this container too. I think it's just really fun. And look at the colors. You've got your turquoise, you've got the hot pink, you've got the, the orange and the turquoise and the yellow. These are some silk uh, flowers that are matching. And I've taken two types of flowers here, which is one is the wax flower and this is a rose. It's a tinted rose called, I think, um, Anyways, I'll have the name for it. I don't remember it offhand. Um, this is already pre-soaked and lined because this, uh, this container does leak. So if you want to look and m learn more about how to soak your foam, I have them in my previous episodes. Um, and then I do have another glass vase that has that the Day of the Dead. And I don't know if whether I'm gonna use that or everything completely, but I'm gonna start. So I'm going to take First and foremost is my roses. And I'm gonna snip them off and I'm using clippers and I'm just going the parameter of the container. Look at that, that's already kind of sort of done. Two, four, six, seven, and eight. So you were using eight roses. And look how cool that looks, right? I'm gonna put this aside. Take that in and do the second one. You need about four or five inches, nothing bigger than that. And I've kept the, low, the foam low. I haven't uh, risen it to the top. The top, the more the foam shows, the more you have to cover, the more flowers you're gonna have. And that's not what we want. We want to be cost effective when we're producing these uh, stuff, but also look very nice and amazing. I'm cutting it at a 45 degree angle because then it has more surface space to drink water. So I'm going to keep these very simple like this. And then I'm going to take this vase or vase, whatever you want to call it. Vase is a fancier name for vase, but it's the same thing. I'm going to take my wax and I'm sort of going to cut them or group them in the same level. I'll try to cut it as much as I can. I'm going to drop it in here and I'm gonna fluff it out. Look how nice that looks. Oh my God, only if you can smell these. It's incredible. Now, I could go back. This doesn't have any foam, but let's say I could, I could use this just to kind of tuck one rose in here, like this. And then let's continue with this. I'm just gonna go kind of sort of around the perimeter of the vase on the bottom lip of the container. 
And then the fun thing about this is, because you can't get all these colored flowers in fresh unless they're dyed or tinted. See, I have like a color of roses and that kind of gives it a poof right here. And then I'm gonna take my wire cutter and I'm gonna take my silk ones that I bought in these colors. I will give you guys a link to the cutters that I use online um, in the description. So watch out for it. Um, it can be really amazing for you to get the cutters. It's not the ones that I use. I use ones that are foreign. I'm gonna take these silk botanicals and I'm going to start tucking them in. And I wanna keep those bright, vibrant colors. Like right here. Take that hot pink. Look how cool that looks already. And I'm not gonna do anything on top of it. I don't wanna ruin it. And I don't wanna clutter it either. I'm just tucking the rest of this in. I'm gonna clean out the table and I'm gonna finish this off just so you know. Isn't that cool? It's already cool. Cool, cool, cool. There you go. So I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna clean the table and then I'm gonna kind of show you what I would do with all of this and how I'm gonna kind of accessorize and style it. So now I'm gonna take all of my accessories. I'm gonna start styling this, right? I don't need to do anything very complicated. Um, I'm taking my skulls, I'm taking my votives, I'm taking my florals, tuck this in, put my florals in here, um, have one of the florals in here, right, right here. You can put all your sweets right here for your past, their favorites. And I'm gonna style this and put this here. There's not a one more of this. No, apparently not. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. And look at these, um, these napkins. These are really cool too. And instead of using them as napkins, you can as you use them as placemats, right? And just lay them like this, obviously not on top of that, but, and look at this one. I just love the little pom-poms on the bottom. So, I mean, look at this. This already looks so cool and fun and just fits within the theme so perfect, perfectly. And it's bright and festive. And right here. You can even tuck this in a little bit. These are candle holders that are like, uh, they don't have candles in them, but you can. Can you imagine when they have the candles, they'll glow? Um, anyways, look at how cool this looks. Just great colors. I like the vibrancy of it. I like the meaning behind it. Um, I like the celebration of it, celebrating like someone's past life um, and their great memories. And this just makes me really happy. For some of the products, make sure you Look at the links that we have below for you. And once again, thank you so much for joining me. Keep on watching and peace out.